Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video I want to talk about an interesting subject. I want to talk about the mistakes that you should not make while applying for any job. Now recently, in case you remember, in the previous video I asked that we are hiring Android developers. So a lot of application came up, some of them are shortlisted already, some of them are doing their task that was assigned to them and very soon after the deadline I'll be giving call to them. There were so many applications there and I personally picked out few of the mistakes that you guys are doing while applying for a job in any company and these mistakes or these tips will always help you whether you apply for our company or wherever you want to apply. These are going to be like bulletproof point that you should always keep in mind. So let's get started. Send me your songs of tomorrow, I'm to know it all. Tip number one always do research. A lot of people just apply whenever they see the vacancy and that's the starting point when you are not going to get a job. First and foremost, do the research about the job. What is the job? We are hiring for Android, that means you, if you are a web developer or iOS, that's not a particular position for this. Also do the research about the person or the company wherever you want to work. If you follow the same passion what the company is doing and you also share the same passion, then only apply for that. It will be super helpful when you'll be facing the interview because interviewer always expect that you know about his company. That always gives a good feeling. So make sure that you do. It doesn't really take much of the time, probably just 15 minutes or 20 minutes to read about the company, to read about the persons that are working in the company or handling the company. So first and foremost, do your research. Tip number two make sure that you are good in following the instruction. Whenever somebody says that, hey, the subject line should be exactly this, or you have to apply on this email ID, this is not to check or for any internal tools or anything like that, that we are picking up only these subject line. These are made so that we can understand that you are good in following the instruction. If a person is not good in following the instruction at even the initial phase, obviously it's a good indication and good sign that he is not going to be following the instruction later on as well. So these are like always a topmost point that how good a person is following the instruction. Later on, let's just say I give you an assignment and you are not good in following the instruction. What's the point of hiring you? So make sure you are absolutely good and listen very closely whatever the instructions are being given to you and you follow them. Now some people, personally I noticed here that they applied exactly at the same instruction and when the task was assigned to them, the only reply in the email that I got, yes I'm interested. No, this is not a good sign that you're following the instruction. Yes, obviously you have applied, I know you are interested in the job, but you haven't followed the instruction. I asked a lot of students in the phase two that you have to design this application and submit this, this, this information. Some of them just replied, yes, I'm interested. This obviously makes me clear that you are not good in following the instructions or maybe you are just ignoring that. Tip number three, do not send your entire project. Nobody, nobody has time to see and go through with your entire project. I have seen a lot of people have sent me just entire APK, five or six APKs to just check them out. No, this is not how thing works and obviously nobody's going to install that APK because in the companies there are a lot of work going on and everybody is concerned about their security as well. So nobody's going to install any random APK being sent on the email, of course most of the people. So that is why everybody is asking about the GitHub profile, so never ever ever send the entire project. First and foremost, nobody has got time to check the entire code there. And also secondly, nobody is going to install any random APK on his or her phone. So make sure you don't send entire project. Instead, send the link of GitHub, Bitbucket or anything like that where people can see the actual code and can rely on that. Tip number four or three, I, I forgot the count, but let's leave that. Now this was a unique case where a person was applying on behalf of his friend. Now this was a very unique case and obviously I ignored that completely but this is not a good sign. If a person is not having enough time even to apply for a job and asking his friend to apply on behalf of him, that's not a good sign and obviously I have to ignore that. So please don't do that. I don't think so that many people do that but that was a re re very rare case and I thought to share it and please don't do that. 
Tip number five, I hope I am doing this right count. But anyways, the next tip that I want to give you is please don't send any video clips until and unless it's being asked. I know videos are an amazing way, I love them. But when you're applying for any job, having nobody is going to watch your video because people have a set mindset that we are expecting this particular thing in the email and they are usually trained or are looking forward for that information only. Yes, videos are a good way of having conversation, but first ask that whether you require a video or not and then only send the video. So please, again, follow the instructions. Next tip that I want to give you is don't try to act over smart. I know you are awesomely smart, you have an amazing IQ, but sending an empty GitHub repository is not gonna work because obviously a person is having, a, this was a unique case when a person, and actually a couple of person actually did that. They sent me the GitHub link and their GitHub repository was empty. Now I'm not saying that you did it intentionally. Somehow I believe that you, you didn't know that how to upload your code file into that repository. I'm believing so, but usually people will not believe that. People will always believe that you are trying to act over smart and you have nothing in your GitHub repository. So make sure you don't do that. That's really a bad sign. Sending an empty GitHub repository for a job profile, I think that's the bad move. Next thing is really super important. A lot of people I've found that they are having a personal website where they are hosting all the projects and the screenshots of them, that's actually good. There is nothing wrong in that. But a lot of them were having their website on triple zero host, the free hosting providers. Now, if you're gonna use something like triple zero web host, chances are high that your email is going to land into the spam because these websites, especially the triple zero web host, is not having a good reputation in the emails because these websites initially were used quite a lot in spamming the things or making a phishing web pages. That's why usually the email detect those websites in the email content and put them in the spam. So that's how your website or your application never ever reaches to the person who are trying to apply. So make sure you invest a little bit either by a domain and hosting or use some other resources like GitHub or Cloudflare or something like that to host your entire website. Remember, invest in yourself a little bit so that you can at least apply and can make yourself stand out in, among the crowd. Always free stuff is good, but at least sometimes it's not. So invest in yourself a little bit. This is for your good self. You are making your own portfolio. You are making yourself presentable. So make sure you invest a little bit. Don't allow this triple zero host to land up your application in the spam folder. That's bad move. Next tip is very interesting and I think a lot of you should take care. There are a lot of online websites in which you are registered and you're trying to learn Android and all these other things. I have no problem with that at all and none of the other employers are having any problem with that. As long as you are learning, that's amazing. But one of the problems we face while hiring such person is collaborative projects. Now, for us, there is no such thing to find out that what part of the project you have built and what, up, what part of the project other person has built up. So these collaborative projects creates a lot of problem in judging you that whether we should hire you or not. I have received so many applications saying that this project was built by me and my friend. Now, how can you expect me to believe that which part you have done and which part your friend have done? I know friendship is amazing and sometimes collaborative works creates amazing application. But since you are applying for a job, the application should be solely designed and created by you. That helps any employer to make sure uh, that you have done the coding part, you have done the designing part and to figure out how much you know and how much you don't know. Now this doesn't mean that you should not collaborate with your friend. Again, these collaboration with the friend helps to understand these company that yes, this person is a team player and can work really fit in uh, into our team as well, can work really well. But again, this doesn't mean that you should have absolutely zero repositories of your own. Make sure you have an equal balance of projects being created totally by you and some projects in a collaborative manner or done with the friend. Of course, if you're gonna have all the projects done with you and your friend, Nobody's going to hire you and your friend together and is gonna pay single salary to you. So make sure you understand this point clearly. And finally, I would like to sum up these two points in just one. First one is when you are providing the GitHub link, if you additionally provide a Stack Overflow link or any other such forum links, it's good actually, it's amazing. The second point I would like to mention that in the GitHub website or any Stack Overflow or any such forum website, if you place up your own photo, that's actually a really good trust builder. 
It's not a compulsory, but somehow it gives a good feeling that yes, this is the person I'm about to hire. So make sure you are presentable in the photo. You look a little bit cool and a little bit decent in your photos. Any photos that says anything offensive. I have seen some of the photos having fingers. It doesn't really sound good and shows your attitude. So either place good photos or no photos, or at least your photos, that is good. So these are the tips that I think that are going to help you personally when you're applying for a job and there's surely going to be future job at our company as well and others as well so make sure you keep in mind these points and follow them so these are the points that i have personally collected and written on a sticky pad while i was going through all the applications and yes there are a lot of application now since you are stuck with me at the end of this video as well as a bonus point i would also like to give you one more tip yes i kept it for the end so that other people who are not engaged in the video till the end don't get this. I am mean here, but let me show you that point. Now, when you're applying for any company, do your little bit more research about your salary as well. Now, sometimes people ask you that what is your expectation and salary? Now, your expectation salary should be uh, really competitive because there are so many other applications going through that. So either show your amazing skill in the programming as well as your salary being competitive. I have seen some of the people who says I can dedicate like three hours per day uh, for your projects and I'm expecting a salary of 25,000 for Android developers. Now this clearly shows that you have absolutely no idea what is the salary bar for Android developers and uh, you are just sending me three hours of your life and want to take 25,000. I think that's a little bit injustice at least for me. It can be a little bit different for the other company scenarios so make sure you do your research well Take, take in care and account that what is the competition going on, how many applications are going on for this particular company, this particular job, and then apply for that. And also one more important thing, always make sure you have a digit or figure in mind when somebody asks what is your expected salary. When somebody says, totally depends on you. No, that's not a good answer. Always keep in mind that there should be some digit, some figure in your mind. The competition is tough, but it's not really hard to crack down any job. It all depends on your skills. Even I have seen that people spending like three or four hours, but having amazing skills are, are having more than salary of 35,000 or 40,000. But just building up a basic application and asking for like 25,000 or 30,000 is not so good. So make sure you stay competitive and keep on learning. If there is not one job, this is not the end of the world. There will be so many more opportunities in the future and you can surely take them down. I know this is a long video, but information was worth it. So that's it for this video. Make sure you share this video with your friends and help them to become amazing developers and programmers. I'll catch you up in the next video. Stories of joy and